Beautiful Mother, on this day we give thee our love. Near thee, Madonna, fondly we hover, trusting thy gentle care to prove. On this day we ask to share, dearest mother, thy sweet care. Aid us ere our feet astray, wander from thy guiding way. On this day, O oh beautiful Mother, on this day we give thee our love. Near thee, Madonna, fondly we hover, trusting thy gentle care to prove. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. I welcome all of us as we celebrate the memorial of our Blessed Mother Mary on this Saturday. We pray for the people of the parish, in a special way I remember Maria Nkese Udongo as she celebrates her birthday today. Let us now bring our petitions to the altar of sacrifice as we acknowledge our sins and also ask God for pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners to repentance. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O merciful God, protection in our weakness, that we who keep the memorial of the Holy Mother of God may, with the help of her intercession, rise up from our iniquities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the readings. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. Therefore, it says, he ascended on high and took prisoners captive. He gave gifts to men. What does he ascended mean except that he also descended into the lower regions of the earth? The one who descended is also the one who ascended far above all the heavens that he might fill all things. And he gave some as apostles, others as prophets, others as evangelists, others as pastors and teachers, to equip the holy ones for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the extent of the full stature of Christ, so that we no, may no longer be infants, tossed by waves and swept along by every wind of teaching arising from human trickery, from their cunning in the interests of deceitful scheming. 
Rather, living the truth in love, we should grow in every way unto him who is the head, Christ, from whom the whole body, joined and held together by every supporting ligament, with the proper functioning of each part, brings about the body's growth and builds its, itself up in love. The word of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoiced because they said to me, we will go up to the house of the Lord. And now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go in rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem, built as a city with compact unity, to it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. According to the decree of Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord, in it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Alleluia. Take no pleasure in the death of the wicked man, says the Lord, but rather in his conversion that he may live. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Some people told Jesus about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with the blood of their sacrifices. He said to them in reply, Do you think that because these Galileans suffered in this way, that they were greater sinners than all other Galileans? By no means. But I tell you, if you do not repent, you will all perish as they did. Or those 18 people who were killed when the tower at Siloam fell on them, do you think they were more guilty than everyone else who lived in Jerusalem? By no means. But I tell you, if you do not repent, you will all perish as they did. And he told them this parable. There once was a person who had a fig tree planted in his orchard. And when he came in search of fruit on it, but found none, he said to the gardener, For three years now, I have come in search of fruit on this fig tree, but have found none. So cut it down. Why should it exhaust the soil? He said to him in reply, Sir, Leave it for this year also, 
and I shall cultivate the ground around it and fertilize it. It may bear fruit in the future. If not, you can cut it down. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome once again, my dear friends, as we celebrate the Mass of this Saturday, actually Saturday of the 29th week. It should have been the optional memorial of St. Uh, uh, Anthony Claret. We chose to celebrate the memorial of our Blessed Mother Mary on Saturday because Anthony Mary Claret is optional memorial. The life of our Blessed Mother Mary continues to inspire us as Christians and gather to worship God on this day, we are happy to connect once again with her. The church is the body of Christ. And we as a body are made up of different parts. The head, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the breast, and all other parts of the body. These are parts of the body, and they all function differently to make the entire person comfortable. As we listen to the first reading of today from the letter to the Ephesians, St. Paul takes our attention to these parts of the body and compares the ministries we exercise in the church as resonating with these functions. We put all, all of the ministries in use, St. Paul tells us, to attain the unity of faith and the knowledge of the Son of God to mature manhood and so on and so forth. My dear friends, the reason we have doctors, nurses, and other paramedics is because people get sick, and the sick need physicians. The reason we have priests, the different ministries, apostles, healers, and so on and so forth, and they are chosen priests, for instance, from among the people to minister to the people in relation to their spiritual needs and other needs within their powers to take care of is because someone has to be there to pray for us, to celebrate masses for us, to hear our confessions, to anoint us when we are sick, and so on and so forth. And we often get sick. We are all sinners. The story we had in the gospel related what Jesus was information he had received in relation to some people who were sacrificed by Pilate. And he asked the people who were telling, them, telling him the story, do you think that these people who were killed we are worse than everyone else in Galilee. He said, by no means. If nothing awful has happened to us because of our transgressions, because of our sins, if we have not been infected with COVID, it doesn't make us holier people than those who may have already met with this sickness, all the misfortunes. And this is the lesson, the narratives in the gospel provided to us today. God does not take pleasure in the death of the wicked person. So as we gather to celebrate on this day, asking for the intercession 
of our blessed Mother Mary over us and over people we pray for. Even as I pray for Maria and Kese Ndongo, let us continue to wait. Let us not continue to wait on chance. Let us humble ourselves before God. Let us come to his mercy and heal the part of the body that has been besieged by infirmity. Let us not incapacitate or impair the other parts of the body by leaving it sick or wounded by sin. The reason we have priests, once again, is to have people to pray for us, to hear our confessions, to anoint us when we are ill. God continues this ministry in his church today. God is here with us, and he wants to make us whole. So if you are sick, if you are besieged by infirmity, don't hold back. Don't continue to wait on chance. Come to God at your first opportunity. Confess your sins. Be forgiven. Reconcile with the body of Christ so that you, whom God has called into his salvation, we continue to benefit from the prayers and the ministries in the church. God expects us to bear fruit from the gifts he gives us by growing more like him and building up his church. So as we come together as children of God, we turn to him with our needs and the needs of others. For Christ's body, the church, may his gifts un unite his members more closely in truth and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in public office, may God's truth guide them in promoting justice and solidarity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For victims of oppression and racism, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those gathered here, may the grace of our Lord help each of us do the work for which he has equipped us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may the Lord soon receive them into his house to live among the saints forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of the parish and those prayers that we hold in the quiet of our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We come to you, Father, bringing our thanksgiving and our petitions as we ask for the intercession of our blessed Mother Mary and all the saints, we ask that you may earnestly hear these prayers we bring to you as we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in heaven with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. In heaven the blessed 
blessed, your glory proclaim. On earth we, your children, invoke your fair name. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. As we honor the memory of the mother of your son, we pray, O oh Lord, that the oblation of this sacrifice may by your grace make of us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to its ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the hosts of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up. For you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, John and Ramon, his auxiliaries, and all the clergy. 
Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints, St. Anthony Mary Claret, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. May we share the sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say your word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to life everlasting. We take this opportunity to invite our friends who are joining us online to make their spiritual communion at this time.
He who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. Let us pray. Having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Have a good day. Eucharistic ministers. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulcedo, et spes nostra salve. A te clamamos, exules filii heve, a te suspiramos, gementes et flentes, in hac lacrimarum vas.